Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have another book of the month unboxing. These are my April books. So let's check it out and see what's inside. All right, here is a look in the box. And this is my book of the month choice for April. This is called The Only Survivors by Megan Miranda. I love thrillers, so this is another thriller. And the quick take is a group bound by a decades old pact and survivor's guilt reunite at a remote island house in this taut, twisty tale. I love a twisty tale, so this will probably be the first book I read this month. The other book of the month choices for April were a historical fiction called Hang the Moon by Jeanette Walls. I believe she's the one who wrote The Glass Castle, which was an amazing book I read years ago. A contemporary fiction called Romantic Comedy by Curtis Sittenfield. A dystopian debut called Camp Zero by Michelle Min Sterling. A contemporary fiction called Adelaide, and I was actually on the fence with this one, so if you ordered this one, let me know how it is. And the author is Genevieve Wheeler. A historical fiction called Anna Marie and the Fox by Liana De La Rosa. A contemporary fiction called Advika and the Hollywood Wives by Kirthana Ramasetti. I also added on two add-ons. The first one is The House is on Fire by Rachel Beanland. The quick take on this one is sweeping but intimate four lives in a community are irreparably changed in this story of a 19th century theater fire. This one takes place in Richmond, Virginia in 1811. I love a historical fiction, so that is why I chose this one. My last book for April is called Pineapple Street. This one is by Jenny Jackson. The quick take on this one is Brooklyn's 1% is put under the microscope in this sharp, vibrant exploration of what happens to a trust fund deferred. At the bottom of the box, we have this month's bookmark. Responsibilities are overrated. I also wanted to go over my March books with you. My book of the month choice for March was the London Seance Society, and this is by Sarah Pinner. And I chose this one because I love the Lost Apothecary so much. And I still like The Lost Apothecary better than this one, but this was a good book. I enjoyed it. The I was not sure how much I would enjoy the seance part, but this actually read more like a murder mystery. They used the seance to try to solve the mystery. And it's told from two different points of view, and I love that as well. Another book of the month choice for March was The Soulmate by Sally Hepworth. This was a twisty thriller. I did not want to put this one down because I wanted to figure out what was happening. Again, this one was also told from two different points of view. If you love thrillers, I definitely recommend The Soulmate. And the third book of the month for March that I read was called Wayward by Emily Hart. This was her debut novel. And to me, this one actually reminded me a lot of The Lost Apothecary. This one actually had three timelines following three women. And they all had really big troubles with men. And the book was about their parallel stories and how they dealt with these hardships that they were given and really how they all connected in the end. But there are definitely a lot of triggers in this one. So you may wanna check out those triggers before you pick it up. But I enjoyed it. I thought it was well written. The last book I read was actually my February choice from Aardvark Book Club. This was called The Sweet Spot by Amy Papel. And I love this book so much. It was just so enjoyable. I was so sad when this book was over. And if she writes a sequel with these characters, I will be first in line to order it to pick it up because these were the best characters. There's so much going on. I love the setting of Greenwich Village. I'd say it had a theme of family. It also talks about forgiveness and revenge. And again, the characters so well written. I've not read anything else by this author. So if you have read her books and recommend another one from her, please let me know. And that was it. That was everything in my April book of the month box. If you are interested in trying book of the month, I will have a coupon code in the description below, so be sure to check that out. If you are reading something amazing that you recommend, please put that in the comments below. I'm always looking for new books to read. And as always, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.